Okay, it has been a while since I've put anything in my build thread, so I wanted to do a walk around of my 2019 TRD Off-Road Pro 4Runner. I've done quite a bit of work to it and have some more work planned. We'll start here in the front of the vehicle where I have the ARB bumper. It has served me well, taken a lot of abuse. Here on the front I do have my air connection and there here you can see my bumper has shifted a little bit. I have not gotten around to moving it back. I also have two of the Baja Design LP9 lights which are no doubt overkill but I do love them when off-roading at night. For my winch I have a Warn with the Factor 55 hook. This has served me very well and I have used it many times to save me from positions I've gotten myself into that I probably should not have. For the wheels I have the FN wheels which I have used and you can see have sustained some damage so they are doing great. I think this is the one that has the most damage but who cares they do their job and I do love the color. Now regarding suspension I am using the King suspension in the front and back with Total Chaos upper control arm and rear lower links. A very nice clean install. You get a picture from this side. There we are. While we're down here you can see that I have the Marlin Crawler cam tab protection kit. This thing is beyond stout. What you do not see here is my front skid plate. I have full bud built skids but I purchased them when they were in the beginning of starting their version 2 skids so we opted not to put it on here until that one was ready. I have gone through two of the stock skids and destroyed them. You can see the mounting points over here and here are bent so I will be getting the other one here soon. Here you see the bottom of the ARB. It's taken some abuse but it keeps on ticking as they say. Looking at the rest of the protection you can see I have the bud built sliders. These things have done amazing. I have touched them up many times from using them for their purpose. Moving underneath to look at the rest of the skid plates. This is where you can see the tummy tuck. Right here is where we raised or clocked, if you will, the transfer case. Then moved up the catalytic converter and had to reroute the exhaust. You can see the skid starting from the front to the mid. This was the custom one raised up. And then the gas tank, and then going all the way to the back to the diff skid. I cannot say enough about this tummy tuck. I've been able to do things with this extra ground clearance that I never thought I'd be able to do. I hope they are going to be able to offer this to more people here in the near future. You can see in the tummy tuck area, despite being a little dirty, it is the only skid that has not been hit in one way or another. The others all have and of course are all do doing their job. All of my skids are stainless steel. Moving to the back. Again, as I mentioned before, the same King coilovers with the adjustment. Then as I mentioned, I do have the Total Chaos upper and lower rear bars as well as the panhard bar. You can see those here. You need a good look at the skids going forward. For my bumper in the back, I have an LFD rear bumper with dual swing arms. On the roof, I used to have a roof rack, but in the end I decided to get rid of it and just go with four 
or three I don't recall of the LFD crossbars. I have the Plano case on the top, which I like, but I believe I'll be changing that in the near future to remove it when I will get a very small d drawer in the back because I only keep recovery gear up there and I'd rather have it closer. Now let's move under the hood where I have many other exciting pieces. The first and easiest to see is the URD Whipple Supercharger. This is not going to make your 4Runner a race car, but it sure does make it fun to drive. Here in the back with the ARB, I am on my second mount. I do not recall the first one I had, but I was not able to move the air pump that was down here. So I now have the Bandy mount, and you can see I have put the air pump underneath a bit. I have relocated my window washing fluid to here to raise it up from a more precarious position, if you will. Over here you can see the Genesis dual battery kit. It was more of a convenience item. I do like it. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it long term versus keeping a battery here and then one in the back. Here is my fuel filter. It was moved forward when the supercharger was installed. So now it's in a very easy place to change and access. Coming off of the Genesis, you can see over here I have four 100 amp circuit breakers as well as the Bantam. Two of these are currently being used, one for the fuse block over there which serves all of my interior charging ports, USBs all over the car for the kids as well as us in the front and then in the back. Another one of these serves my amplifier, which is under the driver's seat. And the other two are spares with the four gauge already run to the back of the vehicle and one under the passenger seat for a future amplifier. For the S-Pod, the Bantam, I have mounted that inside on my second position now. So here you can see the, the Bantam mounted in one of the lower cubby holes, which I was never using. Previously it was up here on the Expedition Essentials RAM mount. I do like this mount. I keep my cell phone on here and then some other cameras went off-road. I do have a GMRS radio which is mounted underneath here and then plugs into this port right here. I hope you've enjoyed my video. I will have some more in the future. As this build continues, I really love the 4Runner, as the rest of us all do, obviously.